feel for Sadio Mane and also, as you say, if he doesn't realise just how good he is sometimes, what do you tell him about how good he is? <laughs> it's just like this today. Um, good morning, Sadio, you're world class. It doesn't happen <laughs> like that. Um, but if it, it's it's obvious, so sometimes um, he is not aware of that. That's how it is. But um, we all expect these boys always um, being re finished in their development pretty early in their life, and um, he's in the best years. So they come up now, the best years of his career. So it's all good so far. So he did really well, without acknowledging it. So that's that's all. That was only. It's only one little little part of all the things you could say about Sadio. So I'm really pleased, really happy about uh, the fact that he signed this contract. So it's it's really a, it's it's a big sign, and um, it's always if a player is in a very good moment in his career, and then you can can extend the contract. Um, that's that's more than a, than only the the signing. That's that's a, a statement, and so um, happy. About um, about that, and um, it's really it, it shows a bit of the the, the change um, the club did in the last few years. So I think a few years ago it constantly happened that players in a very good moment um, thought they had to leave the club, and obviously to make the next step. And obviously now our boys think the next step they can make here, and um, that's good. With that in mind, then, what do you make of the Egypt boss saying, with regard to Mo Salah, that it may be better for him to leave within a season or two if Liverpool don't win any titles? Who is sorry? And who is manager of uh, Egypt? Yeah, who is it? Okay. Um, <coughs> so I tried to be nice, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, I, oh, so I would say if he doesn't win in the next two years a title, then he has to move to another club or country. That's for sure. So I don't know why people why people say things like that. It's just, um, yeah, but it's not not that important to be honest. It's only it's a world of media. You find it somewhere in any Egyptian newspaper or whatever, and then um, the next one is writing it, and I got confronted with it. It's not okay. I, I obviously I don't agree with that, um, but. It's a free world, and he can say whatever he wants. That's good, actually. And I shouldn't have made any comment to it. So maybe we can delete what I said <laughs> a minute ago. We'll move on then. I'm looking at the weekend. Um, we understand that Jordan Henderson has trained OK this week. Is he ready to play, or is it a case of maybe holding him back, looking at PSG, looking at the Merseyside derby to come as well? it's such a busy week for you. Busy week. Another one. Busy month. Busy, busy month. two, three months. Yeah, no. No, he's ready to play. So that's all. Um, they, in the moment, it looks like um, we have uh, pretty much a full squad. Yes, the long-term injuries, of course, and and Adam Lalana is uh, has a, uh, a minor a minor thing, but makes him not available for the weekend. But um, all the rest came back healthy from the. From the internationals, which is brilliant, and so we have uh, to make a few decisions. Obviously, um, Sadio, it's one of a, quite a few that you've signed up to longer deals recently. How comfortable are you then with your current squad that you've got together on, and pretty much all on, on long deals, aren't they? Yeah, that's only one thing you cannot. That's only that's a part of of the business that um, you, you sign a player, and then you, you we all. You hope that it will work out, and in the moment when it works out, then after meanwhile, after one year or so, people come up, and you, you because of interest of other clubs and stuff like that, and because this club always um, shows that we realize maybe the new value of a player as well, and with with a new contract, so that's a, that's important thing. So we are comfortable with the squad. Does that mean we will not change anything in the, in the future? I don't think so. But um, it's now all, the job for all of us that we use that quality. Signing a new contract is only it's actually five seconds to sign it. In negotiations, the player, players are not even involved constantly. The, the, the agents and the club is doing that. So that's only one one thing. And now we have to 
to carry on and, 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 and use the quality we have. I think I, w I never showed any doubt about the quality of the squad. There was no reason for it. So it's good that it's settled, more or less, that it's fixed. Um, and now nobody has to come and ask for um, these players at least. And um, that's it. And what for next for you? Uh, in the Premier League, their, their best ever start to a Premier League campaign, maybe a bit recently, but what have you made of them so far? Oh, really good. I have to say, really good. This, uh, um, I think they won six games you know, so far already from 12. <sighs> Two draws, yeah, that makes 20 points. Um, really good, good football, lively, good organised um, in a 4 for 2 mostly, I would say. Um, and. Um, a good game plan, so playing football, preparing direction constantly. Usually with Dini, he was now out for a while, but I think he will be back. So, it's, which is a, uh, um, we played obviously two weeks ago against Fulham, and Mitrovic did pretty pretty well in in a, in a similar um, or with a similar job to do actually. But um, I think Troy is another is another step, so he's really smart in that um, hard. Against himself, harder than against your opponent. So um, that's um, that will be interesting. The quick wingers, um, very good centre midfielders, Capoue, Ducouré. It's such a, making an analyse of that game was really, yeah, it was nice. It was exciting. You think, oh, it's really good. I knew it before I watched. Um, I, I didn't have time to watch all the games, 90 minutes. But in early in the season, I watched. The, I saw the game against Tottenham. I don't know why, but I think only because we played the day before or so. And um, I saw it was uh, was already good. Um, set pieces good, which I used that day. And so that's a proper package. And um, it's for sure the best, the best what for team since I'm in. In combination with the with the manager, is really interesting project there. Thank you. Uh, Jürgen, there's been talk and rumor about. Um Fabinho leaving. I know we've seen a lot more in, in <laughs> September, and I know that you've said in the past that you know you'd like to let players settle. You give them that time to settle. Um, is he settling now? And is he one for the future as you intended to be when you he was ever, him? He was ever one for the future. And is he settling? Yes. He played three of the last four or so. I'm not one hundred percent sure, but um, he played. He did well. So it's all good. We, now it's coming up the most intense period of the year, of the whole season. It's unbelievable what, 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 how many games we have now. So, and that's good because we, we knew that before and, we, we, and now he used the time to, 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 to adjust to, to, to what we want him to do. And that that's, was really good, the, the, game, the last games he played. Um, yeah. But pretty much all good or better. So, all fine. And of course, he will not leave. I don't talk about transfers, but whoever wants to ask, nobody leaves here. That's, that's, that would be completely crazy. He doesn't want. Um, it's only just the, the, the crazy world out there that people, if they don't play the last five games, then immediately open kind of a transfer market. We are not involved in that. Uh, Jürgen, you've alluded to it already, but you've, you've got a busy schedule over the next <laughs> couple of weeks, and you've got um, ten, 10 games in the next next five weeks. Um, how easy or, or difficult is it to, to maintain a high standard of performance when you've got a schedule like that? First of all, it's important that the boys stay healthy, uh, as many of them as possible, stay fit, stuff like that. So you can imagine it's now. That's the that's the challenge we all face constantly. So we had now the international break, good for me, as a human being, as a coach, it's just. It's crazy that you have in the middle of the season this is kind of nine days without your without your players. Uh, Robo came back and will train today first time at two very intense games with Scotland. So now you wanna after two weeks doing completely different things in different for different countries, playing different positions, stuff like that, having having different training. We have to, to now do it's always like kind of a new start. It's 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 a bit crazy. It sounds crazy, but you have then two days and to try to put again in all what you what you want them to do in two days. Because from now on we will not train. We will recover and play. We will recover and play. So um, that's why it's so good that we have a really good basis so far. But we know about the the, the difficulty of the of the next few. Not only the next five weeks. Uh, so ten in the next five, and then what is then in five weeks? We have then. 
mid end of December or what. Uh, so <laughs> it doesn't get less than uh, how I know it, and um, that, that's it. It's no problem. It's only the situation is we have to use the situation. The base is really good, but now let's, let's carry on. There are a lot of games to come, a lot of um, yards to go, fights to fight, and, um, and challenges to do, and that's, that's how it is. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's all good. Just a question about your, your defence, if I might. I don't know if you're aware, but if you keep a clean sheet tomorrow, you'll have set a new record for for any Liverpool team, um, no Liverpool team in history has, has kept a few of the, has conceded sorry fewer than five goals after the first 13 games. And so, what what do you put that that down to that success? I didn't know it, so now I put 11 defenders on the pitch tomorrow <laughs> to make sure that 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 we can get that record. Um, and so. Uh, yeah, you, how you know and how we all know and how we, we, we discussed it always, um, already a bit different in the last years when we, when we spoke about yeah, all good, you, you score that many goals but you concede unfortunately pretty much um, in each game as well. So um, that was, uh, we improved that obviously, which is good and very important for our, for our development and for, for possible success. Yeah, but I cannot change anything because of that record. We didn't do it. We, it was not our main focus. We don't go in the game and say we don't want to concede, we don't want to concede. We want to win a football game. And it makes life easier if you don't concede, of course. And um, so that was good so far, but it will be uh, 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 a proper challenge tomorrow because I really, that's just good. So that we have to say that there are not, it's no coincidence that they are seventh in the league at the moment. And, and we all know they maybe they had this one game against Bournemouth, uh, Bournemouth and, and Bournemouth is flying, obviously, um, where they got a proper knock. But all the other games, they were real challenges. I think they, they are second or third in, uh, or fourth in, 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 in conceding shots on target. So it's like you, you don't get a lot of shots against them. You have, to, you have to work, you have to be ready, you have to be ready for the small things. It will never be an easy game. And so that's it. And that's, um, so we don't have to think about records, we have to think about um, the, the way to, to get the three points there. Hi. Um, Daniel Sturridge's season has been going quite well in terms of fitness and everything else. The team's obviously doing really well. So how important is it when something like this FA charge comes along for it not to upset the balance or be a distraction to either him or anybody else who's associated with him? Oh, I, I obviously I know about the, 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 what is it, the case. Um, I don't know to say it properly. So, um, and you, you don't see any influence on Daniel in training, so that's good. It's, um, I, I don't know. Um, I cannot say actually anything about the, about the, the, the case, what, what happens. Um, that's quite. Um, no, it's difficult to, to, to get information about it, so that's it. But on training, he is completely normal. He's in a good shape, looks really looks sharp, looks focused. Um, but of course, um, it's not something you want to be involved in. That's it. But from my point of view, as long as um, nobody tells me anything different, he's 100%. And if, as long as he trains well, um, he's 100% um, um, in, what is it? What's the word? Yeah, contention. Wow. We worked together since three years uh, in contention. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not bad. Um, <laughs> um, also, can I ask, uh, Dominic Solanke um, scored four and two for England 21s. Played and played really well. Had, had not really had not featured for you at all at the minute. What, what does his immediate future hold? Oh, we will see. So it's, it's, uh, uh, first of all, it was brilliant, and not only Dom, but for, of course for us, it's pretty interesting. Dom, but um, somebody saw the game against Italy. It was a whoop. Wow! Nobody should worry about the future of English football in that moment. Eh? So they are. This team could be the world's best U21 team ever. If you think who could play from the first team, like Trent, Chilwell, uh, Omez Mount is is, is, uh, is injured, I think. And um, but uh, Rashford, I don't know. It's unbelievable <laughs> what a team that is. Uh, Loftus Cheek probably could play as well. Uh, so that's um, that's really good, and he is the striker in the team and he did really well, so that's good. Um, for the situation here, that it is a bit difficult, um, we all see it, it's, uh, that's how it is. But um, if Dom continues like he did so far, then everything will be fine, 100%. But there's nothing to say about the short or long term 
thinks it's um, he's our player, and um, uh, if I have to say that, he will he will say that as well. A quick note on that. Is it, in your opinion, is he better off staying and training with you and being around the first team squad now than maybe going out? At the moment, the there's no there's no alternative to it because there's no we don't have any. Um, but we will see. But I can imagine we we talk to, about that. With the players first, they, they don't have to watch boring press conferences to know what um, <laughs> what I think about them. Um, so we will see what happens. But we want to help Dom, that he can help us, and that's a that's a target. Uh, yeah, you said before the international break that you felt that Naby Keita might benefit from playing some minutes for his country. What shape has he returned in? Are you sort of hopeful that he can kick on in this period now because he's obviously had a bit of a stop start. Into his career. Well, it's just the start was rather good than, 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 than average. That's how it is. He played really well in the beginning. So now he had that game on a, on a football pitch, which was not really a football pitch. I watched the game and it was a, I saw a yellow surface. <clears throat> and a bouncy game, I would say. <laughs> uh, but it's, uh, he came back um, tired. So that's how it is if you have that, these long flights and, and, and coming from and, and three stops on the way back and stuff like that. It's not too too cool. But yesterday he was in training. So the day before he didn't train, but yesterday he was in training and looked looked completely fine. So it's nothing to judge what was or whatever. It was good. So he Nabi has to and can of course improve. He has to learn the language, stuff like that. There are a lot of things he can he can he can do. But it's a long term project and we have this wonderful play in our squad and we will use him. Now Short term, long term, future, we will use him. He is here exactly in the right place. So I understand that you that you are, have to ask about uh, different players, but it's all good with the boys. So they are here and now, and how it looks in a moment, apart from two or three, we have them all together. Hopefully, it stays like that, and you will see all of them. So you will see all of them in, in important games, in important moments, and hopefully, we can make sure that they are then in in the best shape. They can be and 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 get the points for us. So that's that's the plan. Hey Jürgen, Thomas Grandmark said he had his contract extended at Liverpool. Um, cool. Eh? Me, you're happy with uh, what he's doing, and we obviously saw it with Jürgen <laughs> with the international. Yeah, actually, I thought um, that we share that contract with England, um, so that they can pay half of the of the wages. But. Um, <laughs> Um, but uh, no, it's it's good. It's good for us. It's really it's really good. It, it's we all th think, or you maybe as well, think now about it because Joe has a long throw in it and it's doing better and better and better. But it's all about the, the small things as well, and he helps us massively in that. To be honest, I was all that long in that business, and I, was, I thought a lot about why things didn't work out around around throw-ins. But I um, had no clear plan how to improve it, and it's really it's good. It's always good to have specialists around, and he's a, he's a a very focused man in this part. It's interesting if you talk to a throwing coach after a game and he only talks about the throw-ins and you think about the ball was in the game as well, right? Um, on the pitch, ro rolling, so we didn't only throw it, but it's, it's, it's just good. So and for us, it's, it, was a, it was a really good situation and I'm happy that we, that we um, do it another, uh, for another half of the season. Anfield, recently you've used a bit of a different system with Shaqiri coming in to add to the front three. Do you feel comfortable yet doing that away from home, for example, in a, in a Premier League game? Is, is there a different sort of challenge there? Uh, uh, yeah, I felt comfortable um, about that before. So it's not that we, 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 don't, we don't play like this because it's a home game. To be honest, it depends to the, to the opponent, it depends to spaces, it depends to fitness, form, shape, whatever. So that that depends more. So yeah, of course we we, we could have played it already. We didn't play f um, uh, four four one one uh, away so far, or what? Yeah, I don't think Shakiri's played the, the front three in a, in a way. Oh.